Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to print faster on your Elegoo Mars 3D printer. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I could do to even maybe cut it in half. here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to cut almost in half the time of your 3D printing on your Elegoo Mars. Now, I know what you're thinking, Will, how is this possible? Well, there's several techniques that you could do. Some are gonna be on the computer and some are gonna be little things like changing your resin to get your prints to print faster. So I got three techniques to almost cut it in half the time. And I'm not even joking about this. Just to give you guys an idea of what they look like, this took half the time to print than it normally would have be. I think it was like nine hours and it actually turned out to be four and a half. This one again was like four or five hours to print, which normally would take around 10 hours, nine, 10 hours. Just to show you what the print quality looks like, this is a Rocketeer helmet that I actually modeled in Blender. I'll leave a link down below of this and you guys could take a look and download it and print it yourself. I didn't see a really a Rocketeer helmet on Thingiverse or My Mini Factory and so I decided to upload it and put it on My Mini Factory were printed in half the time. I've got them done quickly so I could get right to painting or in sanding them and priming them and getting everything going. I'm gonna show you a couple techniques. The first one we're gonna take a look at is resin, believe it or not. So let's go over to the computer and show you what I did. All right, so here we are. We're in Cheetah Box slicing software for your Elegoo Mars. And this is how most people do it. I'm using the Deadpool model again. I don't know why I keep using it. It's just a really cool model and it's a really good way to teach. And I'll leave a link for the Deadpool model down in the description below because I know a lot of people like this model. And the guy is a very talented artist. I love the artwork on this. Most people, when they first start off, it's not the correct way to do it, but most people do this. They'll put the model right here like this. They'll go into the supports and they'll add all and they'll throw supports in. Now, I'm not saying this is the correct way to do it. I'm just saying this is the way most people do it when they first start. Let's see how long it would take to print, we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna pick gray resin because that's what most people purchase, I'm assuming. So we're using the Elegoo standard gray resin. And now if we slice this right now, it would take six hours and 55 minutes. And I don't know if I got the price right because I don't think I adjusted this because on my laptop I have it adjusted, but the price, we can actually get the price lower. And if you want to know how to put in correct supports and actually get the price down by hollowing out your model, take a look at this link up in the corner over here. That's my video on how to set up your prints. It's really informative and it'll help you out a lot if you're just getting started. This is gonna take six hours and 55 minutes. Now we're gonna try and reduce that. We're gonna probably try and get that down to half. Let's go back. The the first thing is resin. Now, you'd be surprised. Let's say you found resin, black resin, on sale. So you're like, oh, black resin, that'd look cool to print my stuff out in black. Okay, so we got black resin now. Let's slice it. It's gonna take 10 hours and 30 minutes, opposed to the gray that was taking around six and a half hours. So we almost doubled our time just by choosing a black resin, opposed to a gray resin. So keep that in mind when you're buying your resin, not unless you absolutely need to print in black, that that's an issue. Now, that resin isn't the only one. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to export all the different resins that come in the settings here. So all these standard resins, I am gonna show you right up on the screen right now what the time frame is for each one of those and what the color is. So I'll put it on there for probably a good like five, 10 seconds. And if you need more time, you can pause it. If you need to screenshot it, you can screenshot it. But that's how long it takes for each individual color. I did this, I went through it and I saw it and I couldn't believe it that it mattered which resin do you use in order to get a time difference. So that was the first thing I noticed because I've tried every different type of resin, every different color, and I couldn't believe the difference in times. So yeah, resin makes a big difference. Another big difference is it doesn't matter how much space you take up down here, it matters the height. Now, if you back up on this and you click on slice, you can actually see the height of what the Elegoo Mars can print. And you can see it right here, how many layers you got. So right now we have 1,842 layers. A quick way and a good practice that you guys might want to do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna remove the supports. I'm gonna turn him this way and I'm gonna put him at 45 degrees. Now it doesn't always matter that you put it at 45 degrees, but it is getting the layer height down. And another thing is this big base is gonna get warped if we don't put it at 45 degrees, not unless you put it right onto the build plate and sometimes that doesn't take either. This is just a good way to stop suction. I'm gonna put him at 40, that's what I would put him at. I wouldn't put him at 45. And we'll add the supports back in. And 
And if you look at the layer height now, we've drastically reduced how many layers. So we went from 1,842 to 1,698. That's quite a few layers we cut out of here. So let's just see what the render time. On gray, we're gonna go to standard gray. We got it down to six hours and 23 minutes. And we look, the gray was at six hours and 55 minutes. So we got that down quite a bit. You might think, well, why wouldn't you just completely put it flat? Again, like I said earlier, suction. Now that was a little bit of time. You're saving like 20 minutes on it. But where we're gonna save the most time, and I'm gonna put a link down in the description below, actually changing layer height. Now I found this article on Reddit, and this guy went through this whole thing of what it looked like from 2 millimeter, point two millimeters to 0.1 millimeter to five. Our standard is usually five. If you go down to one, look how much time he saved. And two, now if you read this article and I'll leave it in the description down below, he actually says that he would print most of his prints in 0.1 millimeter. Now this is for miniatures. We're doing, you know, different types of collectibles. I was curious, I was like, all right, that's really cool. How much time could you actually save? You know, he's showing here only three hours out of five. Well, it actually does save quite a bit of time. So we'll go into settings, we'll go to print, and we'll change this layer height to one and we'll close out of that. And now we'll slice it. Three hours and 31 minutes. Huge difference from six hours and 55 minutes. That's almost half the time, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's how much time you can save making your prints. It's great for one, but when you're doing a huge print where it's multiple prints, that is a ton of time. That would normally take me like 25 hours. I can get it down to 15. And the resolution is really, really good. Now you're wondering, how, how is that changing? Well, we cut the layers in half, basically. So now we're only doing 840 nine layers opposed to originally what we started out with was 1,842 layers. That's a big difference. So just by making the layers a little bit higher, we are able to cut the time in half. So half the time, guys, like I promised, it would take you half the time. And now I know you guys are probably wondering, what do these prints look like? Well, I just have one come out of the printer and I'm working on this and I'll leave a link down below. This is actually gonna be a Ninja Turtle. This is part of the body, but this is a big, big, big print. And as you can see, you don't see the layer lines that much. You really don't see it. I mean, if you, you get really, you gotta get probably like up to it to see where the layer lines are actually at on this thing. So to give you an idea, I mean, this would have took forever to print. This would have been like 10 hour print because I had it on its angle because to fit it. And now this only took me like less than five hours to print. So I can move on to the other parts, which I'm printing right now in my Elegoo, and I can go throughout the day and get prints done instead of spending a whole day or a whole night just printing one piece. Like I showed you with my other pieces, they actually paint really great. So it's, you know, you don't really see it with the paint. You don't see it with anything else. I mean, very minute. The only thing that I saw was if you look really close, let's see if we get really close. You can see some layer lines on my Rocketeer helmet. You can see very like, like, it's really hard to see, especially on this black, which I told you takes even longer. But you can kind of see some of the layers. Not really, though. It's really, you really got to be staring at it. And after you prime it and paint it, you're not going to see any layers. You're just not. So it saves a ton of wear and tear on your machine. It saves that LCD. It saves the moving parts. It saves the light. It saves so much just to change it one little iota to 0.1 millimeter. Huge difference. Angle it. Huge difference and change your resin out. You know, like make sure you're picking the resin that isn't gonna take 10 hours opposed to six hours. I don't know about you, but I always like having something on deck ready to paint or ready to mess with or maybe I'm creating something for my rig or right now I'm printing on top of the Ninja Turtle, I'm printing cups for my airbrush to hook into so everything's faster so I can do multiple prints throughout the day. Especially when you're at home because of this virus. It just saves a lot of wear and tear on your machine. Think about it, hours, hours you're saving on your machine. That's the lights, that's the LCD screen, that's stuff that you're eventually gonna have to replace and you're doing it less time. So you're gonna have more longevity on your machine. That's it for me guys. There's my two cents on the Elegoo Mars just to make it a little bit faster for you. Make sure you like, subscribe and ring that bell if this helped you in any way. Helps me out. You know, I scratch your back, you scratch my back. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it.
Later, guys. Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we'll be talking about how... Why is the battery dying? Son of a bitch. I just changed you. Bafungul Phenomena. You're still here? You haven't clicked on all these videos that I made? Or better yet, like button? Or even better, subscribe button? Just put, putting it out there.